where Outlaw is, you know, looking for that one angle shot for that one shot around the corner where Cesium is either delaying or not even moving towards. So that's been costing him a lot of time, a lot of situational advantage. And now Cesium is going to be able to nail him to the wall, if not with Shadi, then with Rockets. I don't know. Walter's actually able to escape momentarily. Yeah, Cesium is surprised how much he's missing here. You can see that he's pulled the trigger and he's already turning around, but then realizes, oh, I didn't quite hit him, so let me go do that. And uh, I think now, you know, all those uh, misses have really put CZM in a bad way because uh, it delayed the yellow armor. Oh my goodness. Spamity spam spam. Down goes Walter from uh, lower center. A nice shot from CZM. But again, the, uh, the whiffs from CZM might have given Walter an in, but uh, it all didn't uh, come together. So, 8-2. And even with CZM missing some of these opportunities, I mean, he's not really losing anything out to Walter. I mean, Walter is still having to run every single time. CZM has been a little bit more lax on this side of the map where Walter is right now, picking up health, picking up armor, allowing Walter to get himself a bit of a foothold, and he just needs to nail in the hits now. I mean, Walter getting that initial rail needs to leave, and even with these shards, they won't be doing him too much good. Almost gets one in the back, and the fact that he had his back turned at that point, CZM has Walter spinning mentally. Yeah. That's a nice shot from Walter. CZM looking for the follow up though. Uh, playing a dangerous game, but he knows that he, uh, all he needs to do is get a little bit of more buckshot on Walter. Finally, CZM may go down here for health. Yeah, there we go. Walter finally able to uh, close that gap. And six frags, really not too much of a lead here. Walter able to get uh, two quick frags. And bring it within five. Although, ooh. The railgun is uh, is missing here, and the CZM though does not have it. So yeah, I guess given how fast those frags were, that makes sense. And for all the the negative play that that Walter has been throwing out here, I mean it's still only mm. a five frag game, yeah, but CZM has made his move over to Mega Health, and the jump off it is going to be the death trap. Walter's able to pull one together, but he's up with 55 health. He needs to have a grab of Railgun here, preventing CZM from getting it. There's the good, yep. but now he needs to be able to get back up to the top of the map very quickly. I mean, he's going to be de depending a little bit more on health, taking a long route back on over to armor, and by that time, CZM has, you know, quite a bit of yellow armor. on Railgun. Yeah. Ah, oh, but Walter finds him. Actually, uh... Is smart to not expose himself too much. I think CCM could have defended himself pretty well with that. But a nice turnaround and a rocket to the face for Walter. Um, CCM barely defending himself, down to 40 health, up to uh, 67 with some greenies. But uh, really, both players have been available uh, throughout the course of most of this uh, last battle between them. So 9 and 5 remains the score, and uh, that's nothing on T4. Absolutely. Walter exploding back out here, nearly catching CZM with the close range rocket, but CZM has already made his way back out. A very nice predicted rocket by Walter. Question is, there's not going to be much follow up at this point as Walter has to spend some more time grabbing health and he's looking for it in mid map and finally going back through the teleporter. CZM goes smile. Son of a bitch. But yeah, 7 minutes 45 seconds off, we're just past the halfway point. 10 to 5, still completely doable here as far as the numbers go. But the way that CZM has been playing, he hasn't been letting uh, Walter get much of a foothold on this. Although, you know, I think um, as the matchup goes, a lot of people are expecting CZM to be able to pull this one out, especially on uh, T4. And, you know, our next stop um, was Airwalk. Um, maybe not the place you want to go against CZM, but on the other hand, I think that um, CZM has lost a little bit of a step. We've seen that in the Intel Extreme Masters uh, when it comes yeah. to controlling Airwalk. So. Bit of a quiet moment here for CZM as he waits for armor. And actually, even low on health, I mean, I don't think Walter quite knew it. He's going to try to catch uh, CZM here, try to get it done with machine gun, popping back on yeah. up. He gets it in. And this is a frag that, uh, losing out that last bit of armor, not going to be helping him out too much, as he needs to not have any time wasted here. Again, he needs to pick his ass up and get some real movement going to control the map. And actually, you know, if it's a choice between waiting for an armor at this side of the map and waiting for an armor at the other side of the map, at least he could have caught CZM 
en route and maybe done some extra damage, but, you know, kind of staying stationary as far as the side of the map goes and still waiting for that armor, that really cost Walter a lot. Walter's convinced that CZM's going to go for the railgun left up by CZM's corpse. It does not happen. And instead, CZM relies on rockets, and uh, faithfully so, as Walter is now in rail gun territory. Walter does find CZM at just the right time to hit the shot in the ass, but again, still railable. CZM has collected his own railgun. Walter needs to be very careful here, walking into spam, spam, and spam. Although whiffing that railgun shot, that was a shot that should never have been missed. Oof. And um, Walter should pay dearly for this here. Absolutely, I mean, hasn't is surprising. CZM was a little bit low on health after that rail shot, but he was able to soak on back over to the 50 health and really not lose out any positioning on that either. I mean, mid-map, he was able to circle around very quickly, and now we're still looking at, at Walter trying to play catch-up as far as CZM's position goes. I mean, CZM has been just a few steps ahead of him every point along the way. Five minutes left on this. 11 to 6, CZM finally eating one rail, and there's a second, and actually that leaves open Mega. If Walter's gonna take this thing back, this is his time to do it. He's got every advantage now. Yeah. He's moving back through the map, moving back on over to the left side. He's got one armor available to him, but he's leaving it open just for a moment in order to go in for one shot. He whiffed the shot, but I do have to appreciate the thought. I mean, he needs to be looking for these opportunities right now. And the fact that he was using the shards pretty effectively too yeah, to yeah. bolster that yellow Absolutely. armor up to about 100. So very nice play. From he has to hit these shots, though. This is where CZM can be very deadly with his rocket launcher. Walter waiting for this yellow armor. I mean, this is time that he can't really afford to be leaving up. And dropping down at that point, he looked a little like he wanted to RJ up on the jump pad. Didn't quite go in for it. And now, huh, he's going to be stuck against the wall, taking him down to 45 health. And this is going to be the end of his run. And that run for all that time was only one frag when you come down to the end of it. And yeah. CZM again just goes to show how good of a job he's been able to uh, keep Outlaw on the string. Tampax or otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's still a five frag game though. Which yeah, I it is very be... close. But you know, we still have three minutes to play. Yeah. But CZM is looking like he's kind of done with this. It's time to increase the lead and lock it down. Get it right. Done. And and like I was saying before, I mean, even with the 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 score this close, every time we see Walter pulling together, he's not really able to to quickly turn it into any more. I mean, he's not really able to uh, to recuperate a lot of the stack and just move forward onto CZM. CZM has also been doing a very good job staying defensive when he's in those situations and just padding out the time. And so even with the, this close, even with Walter picking up this next frag. I don't think he's going to catch CZM in a place where he can pull another one together. CZM's already got a rail, and there it is turned back around. And even that range with Plaza Gun, I'm not sure what Walter really thought he was going to was uh, going to get out of that. Yeah. So, the good news is, is that we have... In this next map, if CZM comes out on top, then we get a chance to see Rafa versus CZM again. Which I'm okay with. Um... Of course, if Walter comes out on top, you know, we're going to see Rafa Walter again. But uh, my, my druthers would be CZM. Oh, absolutely. Two minutes, six frags. CZM is finally backed into a corner for the first time at all during this match. The question is, how long can he run that? Still, it's five frags. Two minutes still very, very close. But if Walter goes all aggressive here, CZM is going to have defensive rockets form ready in no time. Yeah. Oh, did that really need a center print? I hope that didn't center print for the players. Huh? Uh, Vorb becoming a referee. Did you not see that? No. Okay, good. I don't think it matters that okay. much. I mean... This is crunch time, though, and it's just yeah. a mere four frag. So I'm going to stick with Walter's point of view. Oh, being very risky there. That splash could really uh, knock the crap out of him. He's got to be so careful. There's uh, the splash. 
and CZM will, uh, that might have been the game securing frag there. And the problem Walter. with that situation there is that Walter had an idea where CZM was going to be, but he didn't leave himself an exit, so even that rocket ended yeah. up being a big problem for him. I mean, he was just a little too far over to the right in order to really just kind of throw out the rail and leave. All right, guys, so as we wind this thing down, let's take a look at some accuracies. We've got a 36% railgun for CZM and a 33% for Walter. Uh, Rockets, surprisingly so, I think are a lot more important here, though, because CZM, especially, has been using them effectively 30%, whereas Walter's only hit about 16%. And uh, spam-wise, uh, we're looking at um, 52 hits out of 172 shots, and... Uh, 9 out of 56, so just the sheer volume of rockets coming out from CZM, um, very impressive there. Oof, so this will be GG here. Yeah. Arrowwalk is our next stop. Yep. CZM is looking very strong, at least against Walter, who, as you said, nearly took a map away from Rafa. But I'm really wondering if CZM has quite the pace to, to keep up with the likes of Zero Four 4 if it comes down to that. All right, and, um, here we go on Arrowwalk. CZM is going to be spawning grenade launcher, tossing one out to Mega before heading back over for a railgun. And look at this, Walter going all aggressive right off the bat. He's down to 52 health due to that fight, but he managed to pick up first blood. RJ's on over to red armor, but oh, is railed down red. to one health. The back and forth here is already just exhilarating Oops. on Arrowwalk. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah. That jump being <laughs> botched. It looks like CZM was even ready for that. Yeah. Well, CZM knew he'd find Walter somewhere in the center. It was just sort of like, well, let me jump out here, and as I'm jumping, I'll scan and try to figure out where he's at. Yeah. Found him. Down yep. So, CZM able to pick up a quick frag. Walter turns it back, back around to, to tie the game. Dropping in on Mega oh, in just the right time. And uh, that was a little bit of an about face and oh, rough spawn for CZM. Walter may indeed be able to lean on his rockets a bit more in Arrow Walk here. I mean, it's going to be a bit closer range yeah. most of the time. Tapping through the teleporter, though, it's mostly been costing him with that lightning gun. You got to remember, Walter, Impressive. lightning guns here in Quake 3 hurt a lot, but he's able to pull together the rail and make it a four on two. Walter down below is going to be waiting for CZM to move back through the teleporter, but to what effect? I mean, even when he does so, Okay, he's able to pull together the hit, but I still would argue that that wasn't exactly the most ideal position for Walter to be in at that case. Is he that down by two frags? But starting very slowly to try to get some semblance of control, Walter says, you know what? Take two rails up the top. Enjoy. Six to three, about to be seven to the... Oh, no, it's not. CZM had thrown in the towel, but uh, Walter threw it in for him too. So, four and seven, back and forth we go on Arrow Walk. Right on was very tasty. Again, the rails from Walter have been pretty decent, keeping CZM hurt a good portion of this game. Not able to really get a footing there. There's a beautiful rocket. Splash is not enough oh, to wow. put him down, but the machine gun will do it. Eight to five. And Walter showing us what all times aggressive can do for you if you could just get the momentum going. The question is how long will we be able to stay on that? He's managed to stay alive on the red armor platform just long enough, staying at two health, but again, he doesn't care right now. He is bleeding out, but he's going to be causing CZM to be bleeding just as much, making it 10 on 5. CZM turn this thing potentially back around with one rocket to the face, back up to almost 100 health. He needs a bit of armor though to survive a rail, but I think Walter is mostly going to be concentrating on rockets at that point. Uh, CZM trying to get in that last rail, not going to quite be hitting it. Walter coming out with grenades. Maybe a little bit of splash? No, but CZM is pulling this thing back to a three frag game. Indeed he has, and we're only uh, 2 minutes and 55 seconds into this thing, this is ridiculous. Um, CZM getting the midair, oh what a beautiful switch. And it is now 8 to 10. Ladies and gentlemen, the railgun though from Walter has been a mean mother. And uh, CZM really needs to be careful about that. It's uh, actually Walter hitting some rails that I'm, I'm uh, kind of impressed with here. CZM does find Walter. And uh, that rocket splash will be enough to make it a one frag game. Sees him having Walter cornered, wants to close the gap um, using nice. the teleporter. Very yeah, good distancing there. He was able to toss out a rocket without worrying too much about retaliation from Walter. 
Uh, if he was a little bit more forward there, that rocket would have wrecked his world and taken all that control away. And one more stuck around. That is going to be CZM picking that back up. And another one excellently done off of the spawn. And this is CZM picking up. Yeah. Oh, that was excellent. Oh, it totally was. Most definitely. But 11 on 10, Walter keeping this thing close, but we have CZM starting.